Hi, welcome to another video. I like making AI agents because it allows you to generate literally crazy stuff that actually gets automated in a reliable way. And today, I'm going to show you how you can do that yourself, completely free. For this, I'll be using On Demand. If you don't know about On Demand, it's an AI automation or AI operating system that allows you to build AI agents and workflows according to your needs. Not just that, you can get $50 of free credits on this platform as well to try it out by visiting it through the link in the description. This will allow you to start building agents and workflows in literally seconds with these credits, and you can start testing them as well without paying anything upfront. Not just that, you'll also be able to monetize the agents you make by sharing your agents in their agents marketplace and generating revenue from them. So, let me tell you everything about it and how it works. First of all, just click the link in the description and get yourself signed up. Then, you'll see that you get $50 in free credits in your account. Just hit skip and you'll see this dashboard. Here, you can see every usage detail about the stuff that you'll use on one page, which is pretty good. You can see the credits, storage, agent calls, tokens, and everything, including the agents you make. Since we are on the topic of agents, you can see the agent marketplace over here. And if we click this, then you can see a bunch of pre-made agents here. You can see a ton of agents here, like there's perplexity agent, coding agent, finance-related agents, and everything like that. You can select and use any agent through here, but you can also create your own agents and share them here as well, which is what most of you would want to do. So, let me guide you through it as well. You can just hit it, and it will show you this pop-up. Here, you get the option to make multiple types of agents that you can create. You can either create a REST API agent that can connect to custom APIs and use that, or you can also create a simple agent that works with a custom knowledge base that you can upload and give it. Or you also have the option to create an IoT agent that can control IoT devices and stuff like that. Let's try to make a knowledge base agent. So, once we click it, you can see that here, you can enter the details about your agent, like the name and the icon, and the category of your agent, like if it's a general agent, or a finance agent, or something like that. Once that's configured, you can go ahead and enter the agent description, along with conversation starters, which are like the starter prompts that users can select from if needed to start a conversation. You can also upload the knowledge base you want to give it. It can accept PDFs, CSVs, and everything. You can also put in the privacy policy and stuff like that, which is good. Once everything has been configured, you can just get that saved, and you'll see that your agent is created. You can get it published to the marketplace, or you can also use it yourself by going to the playground. You can select the agent that you have created through here, and now you can start using it instantly. Or you can also send in your own prompt as well, and use it accordingly. Once you send in the prompt, the model will treat it as a tool that it can call and use. You can change the model you want to use by going into the playground. Here, you can select from GPT 4.1 or Claude. 3.7 Sonnet, O3 Mini, and everything. Plus, all these models come under the free credits you get. So, you get O3 Mini, Claude, and all these models for free to use, which is just amazing. You can also set the reasoning effort for these models through here, and if you select the state-of-the-art model, then it will automatically switch to Gemini 2.5 Pro which is the best model as of now. Anyway, you can also set other model settings here as well. So, that's super cool. Once you think that everything looks good 
and works fine, then you can also select this code icon on the bottom and use it to integrate this AI agent into your own app through an API. So, you can just hit this code option, and this will open up this pop-up where you can enter the programming language that you want the code to be exported to, and then it will generate the code for you that you can use to integrate it into your own application. So, this is super cool for sure. Next, we also have the REST API agent option as well. So, you can just come to the agent marketplace, and here just create another agent and select REST API. Now, here you can enter the same stuff, but you also have the configuration fields here where you can enter the header of requests, like authorization API key and stuff like that. Then, here you can enter your API schema like this. There are some examples. So, I'll take the air quality example and just enter the stuff as required. Once done, just deploy it, and you can just come to the playground. Here, you can add in your new agent and use that, and it should work well. So, that's super cool as well. Apart from that, you have the Agent Flow Builder. Here, you can build custom automation workflows with AI models. So, once you hit the Create option, you'll see this. Here, you can configure your trigger, like if it should be triggered when you make an API request, or if you want it to be automated, then you can set a cron job, and it will get triggered that way in some time interval. Then, you can set the model and prompt here along with the agent that you want to use. This will transform your input or prompt as required, and then you'll get the output, which you can also connect to something like email, phone number, Slack, or even a custom webhook if you have any. So, this is super cool as well. You can also add in custom agents to the LLM block, which basically allows you to put in your agent in a workflow which is kind of cool. You can also create advanced voice mode agents as well. Once done, you can just hit the save button and have a workflow ready to go for you. You also have the bring your own model section, where you can bring in any custom model right from hugging face and use that which is pretty great for more customization to your workflows. Apart from that, you also have the chatbot creator option, which allows you to create chatbots with models that you want, and also add the agents that you have created in there for using it, which is kind of cool. So, these are the major things about it. You can create some really cool AI agents with it, and use things like Claude 3.7 Sonnet, Gemini 2.5 Pro, and much more for free with the $50 credits that you can get by just clicking the link in the description. So, that's super cool, and make sure that you check it out. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!